Your friend is dressed this morning and why do I feel so cute? <laughs> First of all, I've had on sweatpants for the last like 18 weeks. The kids are in the other room playing. They just took a picture with me because whenever you get dressed, you need to take a picture. <laughs> I have my stack of books for our lessons today. I've been really into graphic tees lately. Savannah was so cute. She said, is that Stevie Wonder? <laughs> I worked out, been in the garden, um, did some reading this morning, got dressed, and now I am getting ready to get a little bit of studying in. So this is my outfit of the day. Some jeans, my graphic tee. I curled my hair a little bit. So yeah, but I still have all my slippers. <laughs> just finished studying I need to take these off don't I because they're a ton of glare but I've been trying to use these blue light blocking glasses because I'm always on the computer so I realized that I never really talked to you guys about um, this part of filmmaking and this part of my journey to like learn more of filmmaking I just kind of have mentioned that I've had work to do or that I've had editing to do or filming or things like that but I realized that I never really go into further detail about the steps that I'm taking in order to um, grow in this area. I 100% believe in learning beside the kids and so studying filmmaking and storytelling like it's a very real thing for me. It's a whole curriculum. <laughs> like Just like I build our course of study for the kids I build that same type of thing for myself. Hi. <laughs> so I really try to focus in on what I uh, want to learn which is how to be a better storyteller and filmmaker so in particular I know that you guys know that I make um, I try to practice my skills of filmmaking through these films that we make um, because they are my main priority and I spend a lot of time um, in homeschool and in life with these little kiddos so they're like the perfect little actors and actresses for me um, and it's a way that I get to practice each day um, but it's for a greater purpose because we actually want to produce an actual film. Today we're going to be filming um, a little sit down interview portion for a our her hair routine and we're making cupcakes. I have been reading through books like The Anatomy of a Story, Educated and to study and do research. Um, because the very first film that I make, I, I need it to be for me. I need it to fill up a part of me that has kind of been longing to get out. <laughs> and it just so happens that it is going to be surrounding education. So I've been studying <laughs> a lot about um, education, uh, just the history of education. I have a title for my movie. I have different parts and things and ideas, um, and I'm not sure I'm ready to share those in that way just yet, but I did want to start talking about it. I don't get to spend all day uh, studying and 
and working on this but I can carve out 15 minutes here and 15 minutes there to give it a little bit of my time and attention. My little container of toys here. This is kind of sort of what I have been using lately. It is hard to be homeschool mom and try to do this at the same time but I want to teach them how to dream big and use the gifts that they've been given. Right mama? Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's really nice and minimal. Super simple. I normally grab something from here whether it's my vlog camera or my GoPro and today I'm going to be using I think my GoPro and our drone. I try to have it really quick and easy on hand um, because it will make it a bit easier for me to pull it out during the days. But the things that I use the most obviously are batteries. So got lots of batteries, some hard drives here, a microphone that I want to try to um, bring out a little bit more often. So that's just how I am trying to dream big even in this stage of our lives. I'll just grab what I need from here, make some cupcakes, and have a little fun with the lady. You ready to make cupcakes, girl? Uh, <laughs> Let's go. Yay! We made our cupcakes and now we're about to have cupcakes for breakfast. Hey mama. The camera's all set up and we're about to have a lot of fun and laughs and cupcakes for breakfast with this lady. So he always pushes his glasses into place? What does it look like? What do you think it looks like? Like this! You know what it looks like? This is high. Put it to the side so I can see the side. There you go. Perfect, Kendall. The boys are currently trying to finish up an airplane model that they started a couple of days ago. Well, Kendall started it, and now the boys are working together to finish it up. We read a little bit about Amelia Earhart, and then also... Can you hear me? Yes, there you are. There you are, Peter. Let's go this way. There you are, Peter. <laughs> Yes, the Tuskegee Airmen. So we have been reading that just kind of like periodically while they put the model together. Kendall was getting a little frustrated so his brother jumped in to try to help him out. It's read aloud time and mommy needs to read to them. But I wanted to show you guys that my library, friends, pray for my library because <laughs> the way these kids are reading books, I, I need my library to come back and I need it to come back very soon, okay? I just got a whole stack of books for the kids. One of them including this one, the one and only Bob. And my son inhaled this book in like two nights. So, there's that. Which I should be super excited about, except for the fact that I need more books. <laughs> and who else has a daughter who is constantly doing flips around the house? Yes, this is my life. <laughs> she just did that standing on a stool. Not safe. Okay, so we're kind of at that point where they are reading way too fast for me to be able to keep up completely. I'm going to have to take more book pictures. You are. This, this is the book I'm reading. After this book, I'm reading this book. Okay. She finished two books. So they are reading way too fast for me to be able to like keep up, keep up the way I used to. Like pre-reading is just not really a thing right now. Um, so what I have been doing is kind of skimming the books after them, which gives me um, enough information to be able to really ask questions. I'll skim the books for words and ask them if they um, know how to spell them, if they know what they mean. 
Um, so I'll basically just take maybe 15, 20 minutes or so and just, I'll basically just take maybe 15 or 20 minutes um, and write down some notes um, just from flipping through the book really quickly. What are you guys doing? <laughs> <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna let them work a little bit more on their plane and then we're probably, daddy should be done with work soon and then maybe we'll go for an extended walk because we need some fresh air. When I get back in, I will get to studying. I get another little mommy me time situation in order to organize any edits and do a little bit of um, extra studying um, or any writing for our film that I am working on that may take years, but that's okay. <laughs> I'm on the border because I feel like I need a little family time, so I may actually go on um, the walk with them instead of letting them go on the walk so I could have a little bit of time to myself today. But I am gonna make myself some iced coffee, so let's do that. I had several people ask me how I make my iced coffee. I am a super simple girl. I basically just make the coffee, let it cool, and pour it over some ice, with a little creamer, mix it up, and that's my iced coffee. Simple as that. <laughs> that's her favorite thing to do. Interrupt her daddy while he's working. I guess my one little tip is make ice cubes out of your coffee with a little creamer. I literally just take my coffee and pour it in. That's pretty much it. So, I feel like this video is pretty packed, um, but I think, what's up babe? Nothing. I've got followers. <laughs> I'm just missing my one follower. So with everything I've been able to show today, I think that I mean, really, this is the reason why we unschool. Um, because there's like a rhythm to our days and a rhythm to our life that I want to hold on to. I don't want um, schedules and routines, a lot of pre-prepared things to get in the way. Uh, we found a really good rhythm and we want to stay in this place. So unschooling really allows us just to move through our days intentionally without any hindrances and any check boxes um, that we have to kind of stick to. There's my boo. <laughs> he, he wanted to get in. Sorry. <laughs> so we unschool because it gives us the freedom to just be us Hi. and to spend our days doing the things that we love the best. Love which the is best. Reading, reading, writing, writing, science. 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 Not so much math, but so we're working on that. <laughs> I like math. Yes. They like math, they just don't know it yet. Mm. Anyway, mm -mm. this is supposed to be my break, friends. Oh, <laughs> sorry. I'm going outside. Me too. Okay. They're gone. But they'll be back again. Yeah, so this is why we unschool, because we are free to think and to grow and to read and to write and to do all the things that our heart is leading us to do. Now I'm switching over into work mode. I am coming out to the studio space so that I can get a little bit of editing done. And also, I've been working on our shop. Um, I'm coming out to check our inventory because we wanted to try to run um, a few sales and some giveaways. This time around, we're doing it the way that I intended to in the first place, which is to bring the kids along. The kids are actually reading a book called Moe's Bow. They're learning about entrepreneurship and all of the parts and bits and pieces to running a business. This is what our math project or our math focus is right now. Okay, so just going through all um, my inventory so I can see what I have and what we can do with them. The kids are currently playing basketball and I wanted to show you where my stack goes. So basically, I have been really homeschooling off of what I like to call our stacks. Pretty much been teaching from our stack of books when I switch each book out depending on what we're getting into. It includes books for mommy, for daddy, and for the kids. So um, the things that we have kind of been studying or going over, a lot of that is inspired by um, whatever is in our stack. Mo's bows. 
This one right here we have been using for the kids to read. As they read through it and learn of his story, we are able to apply that to our own shop and our own business just to give them some real life actual practice. And that's what um, the Falco Kids and any of my business was meant to actually do. Everything else that is in my stack is out here, Charlotte's Web. Then I pull out any picture books that I have. I want my picture book stash to grow. It's just hard because books can be so expensive I just use what I have. I find the ones that mean the most to me and pull them out whenever I can. These have been amazing because with the current state of our nation, just reminding them that there is power in their words, in their stories. And then of course the youngest marcher, which is perfect. Brian attended one of our local um, protest and I would have loved for the kids to be able to go along but uh, that doesn't mean that I still don't have an opportunity to have them draw up their signs and really just get deeper into conversation so I'm gonna use this time to go through the shop and figure out um, what we have left in our inventory and how we like to put them up on the shop and of course do that with the kids uh, so I'm excited just a lot of the things that we've been building over these years thing that comes to mind for me and that I've been trying to impress upon um, Everybody else in my family is that we were made for such a time as this like I was made for such a time as this The kids were made for such a time as this so I'm holding on to that and that is where my peace lies and that is um the place that I'm gonna lead from. So I'm excited to start using all of my things more. Um, we have this studio space, we have the shop. Um, we just have all of these awesome things that can be used to take the lessons that we're learning even further, giving them hands-on experience. That's what I'm excited to do with them. Hey girl. Hi. <laughs> I think we're going to go ahead and take pictures of the water bottles so that we can add them to the shop. Goal here is to assign them responsibilities. So somebody's going to take the pictures, somebody's going to add it to the shop, somebody's going to type up the description, and then somebody's going to be our marketing advertiser, and I'm pretty sure that's going to be Savannah. New living lawn bottles available. It gets yours now. <laughs> this is going to be so much fun. <laughs> So we're heading out for a walk. Are you going to help Daddy with practice the with the drone? Maybe. Yeah. Okay. I love zooming in on our water bottles. It's like a little mini commercial. <laughs> are you riding your bike or are you walking with us? No, I'm walking. What is that? <laughs> Smile. <laughs> Kendall.
that's a typical day in our unschool. Life is so very full of lessons. So we, so we live and we learn. <laughs> I love you guys.